channel. Today we are making a Vlogmas tradition video. We made ornaments last year and that's what we're going to be doing again today, but this year we are going to be making some different ones. How is it? <laughs> today we are going to be making salt dough ornaments. We made the same recipe of salt dough ornaments last year and I will go ahead and link that video up here if you want to see a little baby. Karen, how old would he have been? Nine months. Well, wow. baby Taryn, I will also leave the recipe in the description for you guys. We are doubling it because we are going to be making these as gifts for family members. I know I doubled it last year and ended up having a ton left over, but I couldn't remember exactly, so we're just going to go for it again. So here is what you need. An entire cup of salt, two cups of flour, and a cup of water. We're going to get started mixing this all up, but I will let you know. What? Last year these took me three days from start to finish. But let's just go ahead. So first we're gonna mix in can you say salt? Salt? Can you dump this in? Whoa, that's icky. Don't don't eat that. And then we're gonna mix in the flour. Can you help me? And um, we're gonna pour in half of this. How old are you? No. No. How, how old are you? Three. You're not three. Five. Five? Say one. Five. Okay, buddy. Now we're gonna put these on there. Dude, you're so helpful. Just gotta stretch them out afterwards. I like Taryn's method. He goes for the one piece at a time. Those are looking pretty good. Taryn's like, these cookies taste awful. Here, you get that one. That doesn't taste very good, does it? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make some more, okay? Okay. 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 Okay.
Ready? Three, two, one. ornaments and now they have to dry but this is what they look like so far we made a couple handprints for Jonathan and me only so family members if you're seeing this I'm sorry and then we made these trees for everyone else there was probably probably used up about three-fourths of the dough so if you make the same recipe that we do just know that you're gonna have a ton of ornaments do you have anything to say to our viewers Guess not okay can you say okay? Okay. <laughs> what was that? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> we will see you guys probably tomorrow. We need to let these dry. I'll probably let them dry overnight and then put them in the oven for a little bit. And then once they're dry, we will paint them. Which will be interesting. As you could see, Taryn was a lot of help here. So getting paint involved uh -huh. is going to be fun. Spoiler okay. alert, Taryn is not going to be helping paint them. <laughs> Leave a guess in the comments below who you think is gonna paint them, me or Jonathan. And now we have to clean. Okay, this is as clean as it's getting because someone is not in the best mood. Okay. No. no. <laughs> Alright guys, it is three days later and we are finally painting our ornaments. I picked up these acrylic paints from Hobby Lobby. You can also find them at Walmart and you can really choose whatever colors you'd like. Also, I'm doing this voiceover in the daytime. I usually wait until Taryn is asleep. Oh my goodness. If I'm being honest, I found this idea on Pinterest and it didn't turn out quite as good as I was hoping it would. I still really like having the salt dough ornaments that we make each year be a little bit different and hold different memories. Taryn's not really at an age where he can paint these just yet, but as he gets older, we'll definitely have him participate more. And here's how they turned out. I just painted all of the fingerprints that Taryn made on these trees to look like ornaments. I think they're so cute. I hope you guys like them and get inspired to maybe make some salt dough ornaments for yourself. Everything that you need to know will be linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next Vlogmas video. And don't forget, eight days till Christmas.